Hey guys, this is Cammy from K Music, and we're here with Jay Park, for, uh, who's currently in Melbourne for his 2012 Australian tour. Hi, Jay. How are you? Hi. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much for being here. Mm -hmm. um, so, how are you feeling on the day of your first Melbourne concert? I feel good, man. The weather's really good. Sunny. Um, nice, warm weather. Um, I I checked out the city this morning. And I uh, had some good food, Chinese food, and man, I'm, all I need to do is just get ready for the show and, and we're good. Can you tell us of any special routines or rituals you might have before going on stage to get yourself hyped up for a show? So I get, I get completely naked yep. and then um, what I do is I, I rub butter. No, I'm just playing. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have any uh, rituals. I just yep. know, stretch, maybe some vocal exercises. Yep. and. That's about it. Maybe like a quick prayer, like just let everyone be safe. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh -huh. awesome. Well, um, you're here to promote your first full-length album, You Breathe, which you've um, self-produced and wrote. Mm -hmm. What would you say was your main inspiration behind the album? Um, my main inspiration was just to put out a, a good album. Uh, that was my motivation just um, to... Because I didn't really have a lot of songs that represented me, yeah. you know, as, as an artist, uh, as a solo artist. So I just wanted to... Um, Put it in people's brains, you know. Oh, this yeah. is this is what kind of music Jay Park makes. Good music, or if you don't like it, whatever. But um, yeah. if it's you know, it's good music. It's these type of songs. Wow, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you usually go into I guess hiding while you're trying to come up with the lyrics and composing the music? No, I mean a lot of artists do that yeah. um, because they they feel like they get distracted and um, like they can't make music since they have all these distractions. So they like yeah. go into a period of of hiding for like a month or a month and a half and they just don't appear and they just live at, live at the studio but for me yeah. it's like I, I I I can when I focus on the music it's like I just focus on the music and then when I focus on b-boy and I focus on b-boy it's like I have so much stuff to do that I can't go into a period of hiding you know yeah. What I'm yeah I also noticed that I think one of your AOM crew members um, Chase Maloney yeah. uh, contributed to the album as well oh yeah also like working with him and do you get a chance to catch up with your AOM crew member? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I saw him um, uh, recently in uh, in July. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, man, uh, I see him all the time. Um, and uh, even Hep, even Hep who shoots uh, J Park TV, um, he he's from AOM. So um, yeah, I see him all the time. And Chase Cha 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 Malone, he's 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 a dope producer. Um, he's been uh, producing for me since uh, Take a Deep Look and he has a bunch of songs on the next album too which are going to be super good so yeah mm -hmm. well um, once you've actually finished with all the promotions for um, for New Breed so have you you mentioned that you you've actually begun promoting also oh, producing your new album mm -hmm. um, is that are you going do you when how long do you think it'll be until you actually complete that album uh, I don't know it's taken longer than I expected it's taken longer than the first album for sure because yeah. I want to I don't. I can't say like when it's gonna come out specifically. Like it's gonna come out next March because then I have to get everything done by next March, yeah. and I don't want to give myself a limit. Like I wanted to get everything done very properly and then set a release date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I do have to say when the K Music team heard that you were coming to Melbourne, it was super duper, really really excited. Oh, thank you very much. Um, but unfortunately, um, a few of the members couldn't actually be at the concert tonight, mm -hmm. so they've actually asked me to ask you a couple questions. Okay. Um, the first one would be, have you tried an Aussie meat pie? No, I have not tried an Aussie meat pie. Gotta uh, give it a try. Yeah, I gotta try it. Yep. Um, I've only tried Vegemite. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Only tried Vegemite. I didn't know if you've actually tried it yet, so I kind oh, of bought you one just in case. Okay, I cool, don't cool. know if you really like the flavor because it's kind of salty. Uh, it's, it's pretty salty. Um, I was gonna actually uh, try to create some like Vegemite rice type dish. Yeah. It's, you know, because... It, it might go good with rice because you know rice is sort of have a plain taste and this yeah. has a strong taste but I heard people like people don't really eat it with rice right uh, I don't think so yeah so really. I, might, I, might, yeah. I might you know cook a dish and come here and, and sell it on the streets or something we'll see yeah you uh, never know kimchi fried rice is probably one of my favorite dishes oh is it <laughs> um, the next one would be what is the weirdest or most interesting gift you've ever received from a fan um, I think it would be Vegemite just right now just <laughs> I'm just <Crazy>. kidding <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Um, the most interesting gift I've I've received a lot of gifts. Um, like underwear, like studio equipment, meat, like just yep. big like slabs of raw meat. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I've just received everything. Every, yep. Like a like a, a rubber butt. A rubber butt. Yeah. Just yeah. A bunch of stuff. I, I think um, through watching Korean variety shows and mm -hmm. stuff, um, is giving me like a custom, customary gift. I have no idea. Sure. I don't think so. No. So usually say it's like a prize or a gift or something. So. Oh, it might be a, like a prize or a gift, yeah. but like to give someone a, a cooler full of meat, I don't yeah. think that's. Nah. I don't think no. That's, yeah. <laughs> um, out of all the female K-pop idols, who would you consider as your ideal type? My ideal type. Yeah. Ooh, man, I, I, it changes from time to time. Like it changes, like depends on my mood. But I, I'd say who I think is like pretty. I think um, Sistar is like pretty, and I think uh, uh, this girl from uh, Rainbow. Her name is Wuri. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think she's pretty too. Uh -huh. um, the next question is, what is the biggest highlight of your entire career, and what are your future goals? My biggest highlight. I don't. I don't really have a highlight, um, yeah. cause I, you know, I, I, I'm really um, thankful for like all the all the stuff that's happened like so far, you know, yeah. um, just for people supporting my music, just for like, even like coming here and being able to do a show in Australia, like, like that's crazy to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm just thankful. Mm -hmm. um, another question would be, what would be the best holiday destination if you were to take a break from showbiz? I have no idea. Um, let's say Melbourne. <laughs> um, look forward to seeing you uh -huh. back again soon then. Um, the last question is, this year you had the opportunity to be part of the MTV World Stage mm -hmm. in Malaysia, um, where you got to be next to people like Justin Bieber. Yeah. Um, what was that experience like? It was crazy, man. There's a lot of people there. There's like like tens of thousands of people there. and. Um, it was crazy, man, and, and just seeing Justin Bieber, like, we rode on the same plane there. Yeah. Yeah, so it was crazy. He's, he's like the biggest pop star in the world right now, so it was, it was an honor, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's um, all the questions we have. So on behalf of K-Music, thank you so much for okay, cool, taking cool. the time out um, and answering our questions. Is there anything you'd like to say to the Aussie Jaywalkers? Yeah, man. Um, thank you to all the Aussie Jaywalkers. Thank you to K-Music for um, all your support. And uh, hopefully tonight will be a good show, and uh, hopefully I'll be back soon. Thank you very much. Thanks guys, this is Kevin from K Music. Thanks for watching.